Hello there. Welcome to part six, I think, in my building woodworkers workbench series. And today what we've got to do is we've got to cut this. If you look at it, you'll see that it is not nice and flat and square and even here. Uh, because when you glue everything together, things have a tendency to move a little bit. And I cut to basically an approximate length. I wasn't really uh, bothered because I knew that I was going to have to do this. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to cut that, that's the first thing, and then we'll take a hand plane and smooth it out, make it square. So I'm going to take this puppy here. Get out my marking knife. And yes, it's a pocket knife. It's what I prefer. So, and what I'm doing, I'm going to cut me a line. I can go a little bit deeper the second and third pass. Let's put this over here and my marking knife in my pocket. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make, actually, before I do that, what I want to do is I want to Put a line on both of these ends as well. And all this does really, honestly, excuse me a minute, is give my saw Going to sleep there. That's how you do it, dummy. All it's doing is giving my saw something to ride in, basically, to help me keep square. Now, I've seen a couple of other people do this, and they they go, "Well, I want to actually cut a little bit out of square and plane the square." Fellas, I ain't that good yet. And it'll be a long time before I am. So I'm going to try to cut square. And then just have to clean it up a little bit with a hand plane. This is in grain. You'll have to excuse me. My hands are. I have issues with my hands, and they tremble at times. and Today is not a good day. Yesterday was not a good day, and I'm pretty sure that tomorrow's not going to be that great either. They just are not doing well the last few days. That's not a problem. It's just something that I know I have to deal with from time to time. Everybody's got their issues. That's one of mine, but when you see me, my chisel going like that all over the place, you know, I kind of want to let people know what's going on. That's all. You know, like Marvin Gaye, what's going on? Yeah, I know it ain't Marvin. Let me put my shoes on in my mallet over there, and I'm just gonna pop those out.
while they're trying to be a, a butt. So, one way or the other, they're coming up out of there. I don't know what kind of chisel this is. It, it says ACIER, A-C-I-E-R, something on it. I, I believe that it's that's French. Uh, this was given to me by a friend, and it's been used a long time. Uh, you can tell by the fact that there's not very much left of it. But uh, now it looks sort of like a Japanese chisel. <laughs> Anyway, uh, it's a hard, hard steel that holds a wonderful edge. So, I don't see any reason to retire it just yet. So, I have a cross-cut saw here. Now, this is work. Uh, even... So I'm going to let the saw, hold on a minute, a little bit of candle wax. Even though I'm going to let this saw do the work, I'm not going to bear down a lot. I'm not going to try to horse through it. I'm just going to take what the saw gives me and my saw is sharp. It's going to take a while. What's that doing? Yeah. See? If you look, it's following that line. Wonderfully well. It'll just fall. It should just pretty much basically fall in there. One of the things that'll help me is to use that the full length of that saw. Beautiful blade. I'm about a, almost a quarter of the way through here. But I haven't even broke the corner down there. Not bad. Could be better. Yeah, I remember. 
remember that problem I said with my hands? This don't help her. But you know what? Here's the thing. Uh, I do have problems with my hands, and I'll pay for this. But, uh, you know, I can sit around and say I can't do anything, and woe is me, and whatever else. Or I can do what I want to do, what I love, for as long as I can. I know that there are older woodworkers that are dealing with arthritis and problems with their hands that are probably far more difficult than what I'm dealing with. So, I mean, that's the way I look at it. I'm going to do and enjoy the things that I love, this happens to be one of them, as much as I can, yeah, I'll have to make an allowance, I'll have to, there'll be, I mean, I won't do anything like this for two or three days until my hands recover, but, that's alright, I ain't running no race, I'm not punching a town clock. None of that. looking pretty darn square and flat just like it is. I hope so. If not, the plane will take care of the work. It'll straighten it out. It'll square it off. Stopped at 13. <laughs> Squeak it, I better do one more. I don't believe that nonsense. I'm just kind of trying to be funny. It's tight on my wrist and hurts it, but I don't want to saw it up.
almost there. That's more work than planing that top and bottom in. That's all right. Shouldn't have to do this at once, for a while at least. Once every five years or so, assuming this lasts five years out in the elements. Don't hurt anything. that it looks pretty good that's dead square boy I like that <laughs> Whew. Now I'm going to take a plane. Now, remember this is end wood. It's end grain. Uh, it's prone to tear out. For me at least, I see guys on the end of that plane and end grain. And it goes a lot better than it does for me. This iron is sharp as snot. I just sharpened it up. I know that it's sharp. But I had a, some problems on the other end here. That probably will, will be repeated here, but it won't be anything that big because this is already flat. All I'm really doing is smooth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my plane and I'm going to go like that. And I got a little piece of wood there, but that'll disappear. But I want to. Kind of champ for the edge just a bit. So hopefully, minimize that tear out I was talking about. Beautiful. All right. So all I really need to do is make that look smooth. I really don't have to do that if I don't want to. But I can't see any reason not to. a little bit. And I might to this is moving so much on this workmate. When I cut the base and attach it and actually get the bench completely completed, I may go back and smooth these just a little bit more before I put Thompson's water seal, which is the plan, uh, on the top. I just uh, because it's not going to move, it'll be still and behave enough.
Beautiful. Alright. Uh -huh. Unless I really, really majorly messed this up. No. Uh, that's beautiful. That's dead square. All along. Now there's one more thing that I want to do. That I would do with any project that I worked uh, some to a smaller degree than others. Might not take a plane like this and do it, but I want to kind of soften the corners of this bench just a bit. Just because it'll feel better. Need these clamps anymore. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn around. I know you can't see me right now. But I'm coming back your way, trust me. And I'm gonna do that again because uh well getting the because I was going against the grain and getting tear out. So that's it fellas and ladies. Whoever's watching me. Done. Next phase will be the base. Uh, what I want to do though the bench is final dimensions. Nineteen and a quarter by, and this will be just sort of a guesstimate because uh, I don't have my tape. But Let's do adjustment. I'm not going to be able to. That's four foot, about. Four foot, eleven and a half inches, almost five foot. That'll be absolutely plenty uh, for any kind of work I'm going to be doing for a long time so that's it uh, the bench is plain it's squared off it's ready to uh, receive the base and so that'll be building the base will be the next video all right god bless you thank you for watching and later